please help me give a warm welcome to Susan. Susan from Shirkley. Sorry, I want to get the name right. So what does planes, trains, automobiles, bridges, and vessels have in common? Maintenance. I'm Susan Sprintall. I'm the founder of CirClean Inc. And CirClean is in business to manufacture laser coating removal equipment that is very precise, energy efficient, cost effective, safe, and environmentally friendly. And you say, well, why do we need a laser? And we're dealing with corrosion, we're dealing with chemicals, we're dealing with uh, sand blasting, grit blasting. These are all time consuming. They generate a lots of hazardous waste and they are unsafe for the workers and unsafe for the environment as well. And they're not compatible with composites, fiberglass, and some of the tungsten and alloys that our vehicles and planes and trains are being used to lightweight for today's energy. But when you look at our infrastructure, corrosion and adhesion are the biggest problems that we have. And we all know anytime you mix water and sand, you're gonna get oxides. I got my start with the United States Air Force. We did a lot of special projects with them at Hill Air Force Base. We reduced our costs from nine million to two million annually. We saved them, um, it, chemically, they were 16 hours processing one nose cone of a radome. We can do it 45 minutes with a laser, and we reduce their hazardous waste from 60, 55 gallon drums a week down to a coffee can of dry dust particulate. It was on this project that I had an aha moment. That aha moment was when Carnegie Mellon University came to me and said, we want your IP. And I'm like, why do you want my IP? So I hired the Michigan Manufacturers Technology Center to go out and do a market study, and we found that we had a $25 billion global market across only six major market sectors, and that's just for cleaning. If you look at the manufacturing opportunities, we can get well go before above $35 billion. How are we doing it? We're taking that laser, we're focusing that light into a very small spot size, generating a lot of energy. As we're running that laser light across, we're separating the neurons and protons, electrons, and we're just taking all of that residue, putting it into the plasma, turning it into a dry dust particulate, and putting it in the local garbage receptacle. We're 16 times faster than chemicals, and our secret sauce is our laser process control sensor. That sensor allows us to know where we're at in the process in real time, and we can actually ablate layer by layer. So if you want to leave the primer, you can leave it. We have all types of products, handhelds, robotic. We can uh, do a mobile application to go out on the bridges and on the ships by using semi-trailers and integrating our systems to be totally uh, forward deployed. We're validated by the Michigan Department of Transportation, the United States Air Force, the Clean Tech Academy. We have ongoing projects with the Navy Research Lab. And our sustainability report in Michigan shows that we are less than 1.5% across all 10 major sectors as a sustainable business. We have over $2 million worth of consigned equipment from major OEMs across the globe, Trump, LaserLine, and we have FANUC Robots, where we're now an authorized FANUC distributor. It's been real rewarding for me. I started this as just an idea back in late 2010, early 2011. Today we have product, we have customers, we have traction. We have a 16,000 square foot building in Wixom, Michigan, where we're actually doing that. We have competition, but what's different about us is the fact that we use off-the-shelf lasers and we're doing ablation in the 10 to kilowatt ranges. We have an experienced team, about 150 years of combined experience in integration and lasers, so we're the old guys, I guess. And we have high revenues. Our systems sell for anywhere from 750,000 up to about $20 million. We're currently at a 60% uh, to 65% gross profit margin, and we have a lucrative return. This projection is based on getting our Series A round completed of $3 million. That will give us the opportunity to go out and educate the marketplace and cover our overhead while we turn into profitability. So, there's more than just what we can do for our investors and for our customers. 
and for the country as all. There's laws, and the laws are forcing that you go to laser ablation versus the chemicals or sand. And with that, I'd like to ask you, take a risk. Do something different. Step outside of the box. Look at this technology. Thank you. All right, give it up for her. Oh, you guys, you guys stay up here and get grilled now. Right, this is the hard part. Now I get the grill. That was the easy part. You did a good job, though. It's good. Thanks. So, all right, who wants to give us? Who wants to get us started with a question? So it's, it seems like the market opportunity is huge and growing. And I saw three competitors listed. Are there more competitors on the horizon? There is. There's um, most of the competitors up there are out of the United States. Uh, Clean Laser is in Germany. They manufacture their own lasers, 2,500 watts. They're distributed here in the United States by Adept Technologies. Adept is going through a distribution network. So if you Google it, it looks like there's hundreds of companies doing it, but it's actually one laser system. Uh, P Laser is started out of Finland. LRC is starting out of Finland. They have government backing of about 10 million to 15 million to get started. Uh, there's General Lasertronics down in Florida. Uh, they're not really a contender. The biggest one on the horizon is IPG Photonics, which is a laser OEM that's really been growing quickly. Uh, Fiber Laser started in 2008, and they're competing with Trump as a machine tool builder. But they're looking at the 80-20 rule and not looking at doing anything with specialty optics. They're kind of staying down in the, the low-hanging fruit area. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is more a clarification question. Um, is it, are you selling the laser removal system, the, the equipment, or are you selling the removal services? The equipment that our first go to market because we have to educate is to get the equipment out in the marketplace. It's a top down sell. We're working with large corporations that are looking for that type of capital equipment. Um, and then we're going into a service model, licensing model, and a franchise model for B2C. This will start as a clarification. You had a timeline slide up earlier that showed a $1 million Series A in the past, and I think you said you're doing a $3 million Series A now? We're completing. We had a $5 million Series A open. We've got $3 million open to complete. $3 million to go. And is that on that same round that you were doing before? Yes. Okay. What? So... When I, all right, so five million, you got two million in the door. So with Carnegie Mellon and uh, some of the other partners that you mentioned, what's the strategy? Who are you going after for that for that round? It feels, uh, right it, now, I'm targeting um, private equity firms for for that. However, we have worked with some angel groups who are looking at doing a synchronization to come up to the million minimum to come in on this round. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, good questions. Let's give it up for one more time. Thank you. Thanks, Susan. Want more secrets from inside the minds of entrepreneurs and innovators around the world? Subscribe to our YouTube channel here and click the link below. We'll send you our best interviews and strategies for growing your business.